the airwaves of Lawrence, Kansas is getting a lot of publicity these recent weeks, and they're going to get even more this weekend because of a lot of things that have happened with this Kansas football team. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? It's Drew, better known as RockShock01, and I just wanted to get off some of the news that I have heard recently about KU football, and most of the things are good, but there was one bad thing that kind of concerns me, and I just swear to God, I hope it doesn't happen. But yeah, I just really don't have a like good idea for a video today, and I was like, well, this makes sense, because these things haven't happened before, and... I just want to get it off my chest. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about it. So I'm going to start with the bad thing that came to my mind uh, recently about Kansas football. And that is the rumor of Lance Leipold basically leaving to go and coach somewhere else. Because that's been the rumor ever since KU became 2-0 uh, when we beat West Virginia. So the original rumor was that he was going to probably leave to go to Nebraska to become their head coach once Scott Frost got fired. And, oh man, that was a mess because uh, that was the majority of the questions that he would get is, do you want the Nebraska job? What would it be like for you to get the Nebraska job and all that stuff? Well, that kind of got shut down a bit once um, another school got involved. And this one has the bigger threat because Wisconsin just fired their head football coach and the front runner, according to Paul Finnebaum, which I believe he's like their, he's ESPN's like head college football analyst. He is a hundred percent certain that Lance Leipold will leave Kansas to go to Wisconsin to become their next head football coach. Uh oh. I am scared because at this point, KU's had one of its best seasons in decades and until like except for 2007 but it's been years since KU has started this well and will finish above three wins and the fact that all these coaches are getting fired which Lance Leipold has a background in it just makes the concern so much worse he has roots in Nebraska he like grew up in Nebraska so and then you got Wisconsin, where he was a head coach at Wisconsin Whitewater, who is now one of the best D3 college football programs ever. And he's got roots there. And that just makes things worse as a KU fan. Because now the question comes across is like, well, since all these schools are wanting to hire him, what do you do in this situation? Do you give him money or and like pay him enough that he will stay and get like contract extensions and stuff like that. Or you do the unthinkable, which I don't want this to happen, but I could see it, is you tank the rest of the season. We've already had the hot start, and then once you just lose seven straight, it's just gonna just, it's the nail in the coffin. You, you can just get him fired that way. And I don't think that's the right choice, but you know, if you don't want these schools to really go after him, that's one way to do it. But I think KU will do the right thing. They might, pay, they will probably pay the guy. They'll give him a contract extension, try and keep him happy because he wants to build this program. And he's done it with two already and have made them a lot more successful. This would be his third. And I hope and pray to God that KU just does the right thing in this situation. But enough with the bad, let's get into the good. And first thing I wanna get off is that with KU being five and zero, oh, there's a good chance that these guys might get ranked. And it was like a couple weeks ago when the people from the state of Kansas and people from around the country were begging the AP and the coaches polls to rank the Hawks. And they got votes week four and then they were just short of getting into the AP and the coaches top 25. They were like one or two spots out. Well, this last, this or this week, about a couple days ago, both the AP and coaches polls have put KU in their respective top 25s. And that is for the first time since 2009. 
This is unthinkable in any KU football fan's mind at this point. Because who would have thought that Kansas would be ranked in football? We've seen them be ranked in basketball and get to the top spot and do all that stuff. But in football, it's been years since that has happened. So the polls came out on Sunday and the coaches actually have KU higher than the AP. Coaches have KU at 17 and the AP poll has KU at number 19. But the distinction of both of them is that I think in both polls, KU is higher than K-State, which makes no sense that the Hawks are ranked higher than the Wildcats after they beat Oklahoma. But hey, I guess a 5-0 record and beating quality teams is better than a 4-1 Kansas State team who's basically beaten a depleted Oklahoma team and lost to Tulane. I guess that's what they looked at. And it's kind of funny, but I really enjoy that KU is finally ranked. But the biggest news that came out was ESPN College Game Day. Uh, they've been a staple forever on ESPN. And yes, even though KU technically hosted back in 2007 when they played Missouri, but it was at Arrowhead Stadium, the city of Lawrence has never hosted once. And people asked for it this season, especially with the KU Duke game, because both teams were undefeated and they were basketball schools. But that didn't happen. They went to Tennessee for the Gators and the Volunteers. Well, that has finally changed as it was announced that College Game Day is coming to Lawrence for the first time and they are going to cover the TCU and Kansas game. Holy cow. I did not think that this would happen ever. And the fact that this game has got college game day than the games that I talked with other friends, family members on what should they have picked because there was Alabama, Texas A&M and then the Red River rivalry game between OU and Texas. They decided not to go with those games and went to Lawrence and that impresses me. Now the question on a lot of you guys' mind is, are you going to go? The answer is obviously yes. Because this is a once in a lifetime thing. And yeah, I went to the college game day when it was basketball, but that happens almost annually, maybe semi annually. Semi annually. Jeez, I can't speak. But it happens fairly often. And since it's football, this is the biggest thing since sliced bread was invented. This is gonna get a lot of people to come to Lawrence to watch this game. Now, I have no clue how they're gonna do it, how they're gonna set it up. All I know is that it starts at eight and I'm getting to Lawrence Friday night and going to wake up at six o'clock in the morning to get my spot. So yeah, my brother and his friends are going to make signs and go from there. But I think it'll be interesting. I don't know where they're gonna put it. I think they're gonna go on the hill uh, and have the Campanile in the background. Um, that's my guess. Or if they were really going to do it, I think they would put it in mastery. I think they should, but it's too far away from the stadium. And since it's an 11 o'clock kick, they'll probably have it close to the stadium and have the stadium look full and all that stuff before then. But it should be a lot of fun. So yeah, that's my little news updates on what has happened with Kansas football recently. Most of them good, had some bad, but a lot of things are going right with Kansas football. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Push that notification bell. Tell your friends about these videos, and I should see you again when the next one comes out. But until then, have a good day. Never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.